Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has lashed out at NATO for ruling out a no-fly zone over his country. He said the Western military alliance knew further Russian aggression was likely. Earlier, NATO rejected Ukraine's request to impose a no-fly zone to halt Russia's bombing. But Western allies did warn President Vladimir Putin of fresh sanctions if he doesn't stop the war. Ці розвідки країн НАТО чудово знають плани ворога. Вони також підтвердили, що Росія хоче продовжувати наступ. Як може? Дев'ять днів ми бачимо жорстку війну. Руйнують наші міста, обстрілюють наших людей, наших дітей, житлові квартали, церкви, школи. Знищують все, що забезпечує нормальне життя, людське життя. І хочуть це продовжувати, знаючи, що нові удари і жертви неминучі. НАТО свідомо ухвалили рішення не закривати небо над Україною. Ми вважаємо, що ми маємо не маємо... Uh, NATO planes operating over Ukrainian airspace or NATO troops on uh, uh, Ukrainian territory. The days to come are likely to be worse, with more death, more suffering, and more destruction. We are not part of this conflict, and we have a responsibility to ensure it does not escalate and spread beyond Ukraine because that would be even more devastating and more dangerous. President Zelensky said everyone who dies, dies because of NATO. But NATO Secretary General said that if we did that, we'll end up with something that could end in a full-fledged war in Europe, involving many more countries and causing much more human suffering. So that's the reason why he said they had to make this painful decision. Weapons and more flown into Ukraine, but NATO troops are sent to bolster only the eastern flank, not crossing the border, as Ukrainians try desperately to fight back the Russians.